What's good, YouTube? This man Spill Dog. You know, uh, Tank gonna always be all right for uh for two good for two reasons. Coach Calvin and Coach Kenny, really. Uh, Tank got some real good people in his corner that's working with him on a on a consistent, regular basis. I mean, two straight up solid thoroughbred OGs in his corner and. I think that's what, in in the long run with this boxing thing, is what's going to separate Tank from all the rest of them, along with his power and skills. He got some excellent coaches, but they 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 real men from the neighborhood that's going to talk to him like he needs to be talked to at all times, and ain't going to care nothing about worrying about how he going to feel when something needs to be said to him. You you really don't need no yes man type dudes in your uh when when you when you when you doing something like what Tank trying to do right now trying to be great in a violent sport like boxing you need you need solid dudes in your corner that ain't in it just for the money and you can just tell by how Coach Calvin carry himself and Coach Kenny especially Coach Calvin that he got just genuine well both of them but definitely they got genuine love for the boy and they just love the kids in general not just him you know you can tell them this is what they're about trying to help as many of these brothers stay out them streets and and direct that energy into something positive and giving them another way out besides what might put them in a grave or in the penitentiary i really see that in coach calvin and coach kenny and that's one of the reasons why I say uh, Tank going to be hard to beat. You know, he got real people in his corner that know what the fuck, that really know what they're doing, too. I mean, they great trainers uh, besides great, great just men, you know. And, uh, I, you know, that that's, that's, that's hella important, especially if you ain't got your pops right there with you. Everybody don't have that, but that's just like having your pops right there because Coach Calvin got that kind of love for the boy. You can tell. You know, I, I see it in his in his eyes, and, it, and I can just hear it in his emotions when he talk about him. This is a genuine thing, and it really ain't got nothing to do with the money. The money just a byproduct of the hard work that they done put in over the years. And, you know, uh, that's just, you know, that's a big part of it, especially for Tank. There's no doubt, but that ain't what they got in this for. It just so happened to, that's what's to come out of it. You know, uh, I don't think, you know, don't get me wrong. Everybody want to, that's training, coaching, whatever. You looking for a champion. You want somebody to make it. You do, but you get in it. Most people get in it because you got a love for kids and you want to help these kids do something positive. And you don't, really, it's not so much about winning and losing. I mean, it is, but you can't make, it can't, you know, because everybody ain't going to be Tank. Everybody ain't going to be Michael Jordan. Everybody ain't going to be Allen Iverson. You know, everybody ain't going to be that, you know, no matter how hard they work, but <clears throat> you can still find value in those that's not, and sh you, know, it, it, you know, it can't be about that, and this is how you get to that, though. And I, like I say, man, uh, Tank got the right people in his corner. He got the right attitude. I like Tank a lot. I like his whole style. You know, uh, you know, he come from, you know, he he really about that life. You know, he 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 come from the trenches, so he ain't perpetrating in there. He ain't got he ain't got to try to put on no act or nothing like that. He 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 is what he is at this point. You know, and uh, you know. He gonna go a long way with the uh, with with the people he's surrounded with, and it'll never change. They're they're in this thing together. I'm pretty I'm, I'm quite sure they come from the same place. I mean, that makes it a lot easier. They com they completely understand each other. The stuff that he going through with the law, Coach Calvin, have been down them roads, so he can kind of school them in that too to let them know. Look, I'm telling you, you don't want to woo woo woo. You know, and uh, you know, I I wouldn't want nobody that ain't uh around me that ain't been through life, real life, uh, real talk. I mean, you know, I I I wouldn't want nobody coaching me 
that 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 had that their life been too easy on them. If if I if I ain't had an easy life, we not gonna connect. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, you you need everybody to have a. You know, we need to be on the same level. And Tank guy, he, he he you know he got some good people around him. I got a lot of respect for Coach Calvin and Coach Kenny, and I just think it's. Uh, it's gonna be a long time for somebody to beat Tank. I really believe that. Uh, it's gonna take a it's gonna take a bad motherfucker to go in there and get Tank up out of that bottom line. Because if you press him, he ain't gonna fold. He not gonna fold. Not only can he fight, but he tough. Just like Adrian Broner. Now, A. B. Mike can't fight as as good as he used to, but you ain't knocking Adrian Broner out. He tough as nails. He just you know, I think the alcohol and stuff, he just done abused his body and it just stifled his talent to some degree. You know, uh, he fought good. He, you know, he did a lot better in that last fight with uh, the boy Cobb. You know, he didn't get the, he didn't get the win, but it, he didn't go out there and embarrass himself either. You know, uh, he got knocked down, and I, and I was shocked a bit. I really was shocked at that. But, you know, he recovered. Like 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 a real like a real soldier, and went all twelve. Like I said, I man, had he not got knocked down, things might have been different. But he got through the fight, and I think I think I think he can go out there and fight again. I really do, you know. Uh, maybe you know, yeah, I think he can go out there and fight again. Uh, shit, I wouldn't mind seeing him fight Devin Haney. That might be a fight for Devin Haney to come back in, you know, uh, and let AP go out there and make him some money for he for he call it a day. But uh, that's it for me on this video. If you liked the video, like and subscribe. Till next time, it's your boy Spiel Dog. I'm out.